Yaiki was fear driven. Remember that I told you that when I was still in Mexico, Pavarotti made a little bit of a fuss and Yaki said, oh my God, if he doesn't let you out, I'm going to take an airplane and get you out myself. Ooh, my hero, right? And then when I arrived, he said, one day I'm going to own an airplane. Being a contractor, he was like delirium, I guess. He was drunk too. Not as he said it, or well, maybe yes. What does the fishbowl represent? I got the fishbowl. We got the fishbowl on Craigslist. We went to drive all the way to or maybe the East Bay. And there was a couple in a very modern apartment in a very undesirable neighborhood. Because it's the East Bay, no one wants to live there. Of San Francisco Bay area. And he got the fishbowl in sale. Remember on sale? That was like new now, the on sale stuff. The fishbowl comes into this new house. This new house, Yaiki suddenly faced his truth, man. He sees the fishbowl on this super ugly floor and was reluctant to change anything before Matria came. Because he was fear driven, he was afraid not to have enough money. So from delirium of grandeur, I'm going to own an airplane once, he understood that now he has a tiny job, is whatever that is, and he's never going to make more money. And I was pressing him to think different, to change his mind. Instead of everything looking into lack, and it's not possible, and it's never going to happen, to change his mind, the perspective to actually create new things, and opening new spaces. So I didn't left him alone. He was faced with his own reality of being such a shit. And now he feels even more diminished. Hence the fishbowl was just a trigger. A trigger. Now let me go back to feng shui. That is feng shui, but it's more to it. What is... What did I choose to? Intuitively, I chose what I had to choose. Look. I created the mountain and I created the fountain. See it? I could have created the fountain here. There was so much more space. This was all stuffed with plants. The pond, pond with fountain, with wa the water. Water is really important in houses the outside. I could have created it here or there or right in the middle or underneath the windows. The uh, I put large bamboo and here I put short bamboo. I created the, the back, which is important, the mountain right here. I could have created it here, but I didn't. I created it there. I made the animal, I made it happen the way it is. Oh, there's another aspect that over the past few years, I don't know how long, that the true north has been changing, shifting a little bit, a tiny bit. I was going to advance it for you, okay, because of so much to think about. <laughs> if the feng shui, for example, has sha chi, it's called like non-auspicious, you kind of want to avoid it. But if it has like a regular thing, it might trigger. So I avoid it, not in the beginning. But I never, in the very start, I went and sat here. But once I created the separation, remember, and made it private, I never went back. I never went back to sit here again. I didn't add it that, remember, I, I created these private spaces. And there was like this closed area. I never went back. It could have been a triggering thing. Or a bad thing in feng shui that I didn't feel to just go there. I give you another example. When we moved to this house, Yaki stopped doing exercise. Now his exercise he would be doing in the garage, his garage in San Francisco. So here was all his equipment, all the machines he used to use, and he never wanted to do it. So I kind of reckon that in that particular part, there was a negative bad wipe energy from feng shui which triggered him not to want to be there. Same as remember the neighbor, Damdiana came and obstructed that place. 
What triggered her? I think that was the feng shui. But I had to create changes to make that Ave happen. Because you have to understand something. That is the house. And that is the feng shui. Yet, I integrate the terrace. And as I created my space in that house, I integrated everything into my awareness. I made everything my house. I can do these things. The backyard, every corner of the house became my feng shui. So instead of having the plan right here, I created a floor plan like that. Can you see it? These are the nine parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The feng shui was not now reduced to the house, but everywhere. And you know what it means? It means that all the good energy in the center now became only the house. Only the house was in the center of good energy and all the other ones went outside the house. I can do that. Hence now the garage, which didn't allow Jackie to do his exercise because he just wasn't feeling it then, was changing because I made it mine. I mean, how did I expand it? Not only outside, also from the inside, I made the garage mine. But that came a little bit later when I got my new car. I expanded that outside so that these energy fields were now in the yard, triggering whatever I had to be triggered. Oh, I'm far from being finished. Then when everything went changed, I made the garage mine. I bought stuff to clean my car, I had it very neatly organized. And then I began to do some light artwork in the garage, keep it all sweet and nice. Pushing out the bad char, as I also expanded my backyard, 